all, this Chris here from Manage Engine team, and I got our team out here from Manage Engine New Zealand. So Chris, principal consultant for New Zealand and Australia, and I got Andre, our New Zealand account manager, with me. Hi there, guys. And Joe, Joe is our solutions consultant. All hey, of course, all solutions. Hi, Joe. Thanks for joining in. So what's interesting today? So we are going to talk about how we can make your user administration or a user onboarding journey in your organization much easier with Manage Engine solutions. And the solution that we're going to talk about is our IT service management tool, the service desk plus cloud application. And also the on-premises application for customers who don't want to host it in the uh, SaaS or cloud platforms. Both the solutions have a tight integration with our identity access and governance solution, which is which we call it as AD Manager Plus for your hybrid Active Directory management. Say if you are using your native on-premises Active Directory plus uh, Office 365, you know, tenancy accounts, and for few customers they might be using a Google Workspace. We don't have to duplicate the efforts. We should be able to create an identity in Active Directory directly from our service disk application. And the attributes of that identity can be easily replicated to your Office 365 and Google Workspace. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see how that works. And before let me move on, let me ask about Andre. So Andre is our account manager who's going to come and meet you guys quite often in New Zealand. So you can see his face walking, uh, knocking your door with muffins and uh, whatnot. So Andre would like to have how you're going to position this particular solution, how it can help a customer. All right. So yeah, just as you mentioned, Chris, uh, AD manager as well as service this plus on premises and cloud are both available to be integrated out of box together. So with this, you are able to create service requests from Service Desk and then elevate some of the AD Manager activities that you would perform, all from the convenience of the Service Desk console. So tasks such as user onboarding, as well as editing AD accounts and unlocking AD accounts and more can be achieved from here as well. So I think it's good that we give them a demonstration of what we have. That's a great idea. So we heard it, how, what it can do. Let's have a look at it, how this can be done from the direct application. So Joe got his laptop and I believe he's going to record the session uh, screen recording. This will be attached to this particular video as well for you guys to have a look at it. Meanwhile, you guys can stare our faces. So go for it, Joe. Let's have a look at it. Thanks, Andre. Thanks, Chris. So the automation, will that, uh, would that be possible without the integration of uh, SDP on demand, which is the Service Desk Plus to our AD Manager Plus, which is on-prem. So okay, so I've connected this uh, instance to our AD Manager Plus. And then from there, uh, I've... Can you show the integration uh, part? Sure, yes. Just, just a highlight on how it can be done. So apps and add-ons, and there is an integration part that's available. Yeah, we go. There's an AD manager stuff. So click on activate it. Here we go. So once it's enabled, then there are certain settings that needs to be activated from the application. Okay. Uh, once it's activated, so you can see that uh, the status of uh, the integration uh, will be here. Hold on. Just give us a minute. Here we go. So you can see the server details and then the status, which is connection established. And then we have the different uh, credentials, or I mean, auth token and then technician. Uh, we'll be connecting the AD Manager Plus uh, to this SDP on demand. Click on actions. Oh, yeah, yep. there we go. So the different actions which uh, we can do uh, using AD Manager Plus integration are the following. So we can create user, unlock user, enable user, disable user, and all of those uh, user activities pertaining to let's say for example HR task like uh, as what I've mentioned enabling a user creation and then offboarding a user nice so. uh, let's have a look at it from a user journey perspective say as a requester Andre is going to be a requester so let's raise a request service request uh, on behalf of Andre and see how as a technician how you can do this particular task yes 
So to do that, so I've uh, created the service catalog for the HR to use. Yeah. So what you can do is uh, create a new request, and then the service catalog is HR. Then from here, I'll choose the onboarding. Which or you is can also do a quick search, right? Based yes, on yes. template. Yes, oh, nice. So I'll use this template, and then I'll provide uh, information uh, with respect to users' credentials, etc. So for the requester's name, so let's say for example, I put Andre as the requester. Yeah. Then for the technician, let's say I put myself. Perfect. So Joe is going to be the technician who's going to do the whole onboarding activities. Yes. Well, wow, there's something interesting, the tasks. So as you guys can see in the screen team, uh, create an AD, check, stock, uh, check the store or stock for the requested hardware software. So there's a list of activities that we do, not just by the IT person, but also working with other business teams and business functions within the organization, right? So we have a list of activities that's updated and uh, he's filling in the new user data. So on behalf of Andre is creating a request. Uh, Vincent Ocampo. Campo. All right. So he's going to start on 3rd March. 3rd March is, yep, today. Today. Now let's make it realistic, mate. Let's make it as uh, Monday. Quite frequently we do get such urgent, uh, urgent requests. Uh, uh, we put it on Monday, though the ETA of user onboarding might be 4 or 5 days or maybe 10 days in an organization based on the SLA. But still, we can be flexible and see how seamless it's going to uh, it's going to help us creating, managing the identities based on this. So after we onboard the user details, so we can also uh, fill in the information on the resources that he required to do his job. Is it customizable, the resource? Yes, it? it's okay. very customizable. Perfect. So let's say for example, the list of equipments needed are the following, laptop monitors, uh, mouse, and then the keyboard. And then for the device, uh, laptops, and then the specifications. So yeah, you can customize all of this. You can put uh, anything or any information you want in terms of the hardware information. Nice. And then uh, aside from that, so you can also put uh, inboarding resources such as uh, this user after creation will have access to the different applications stated in here. Oh, like nice. let's say Exchange, Teams, uh, Microsoft License or different uh, applications such as AD Self Service, Service Desk or even the AD Manager Plus. And that's it. So it's the creation part becomes very easier when we have it all templated for the necessary details that needs to be filled in. Keep in mind, so sometimes a requester may not be able to provide all the necessary details, but not to worry, our application do support editor column or uh, letting anybody in the organization to fill the necessary details for onboarding a user as well, like a re reporting to manager or anybody else, so based on the editor field. So now the request is already there, and uh, Joe, already uh, an engineer, young that particular request. So the request has been assigned, and as you guys can see, the details that was submitted as a request, and it's pretty easy to identify the details. Now let's have a look at the AD manager part out here. So where Joe clicked on it is where our AD manager task activities that's going to get displayed based on the integration that we have done. So all done. So I'll create a user based on the HR request. Perfect. So in this case, since the department, the user belongs to a information technology department, so I've used this template. Cool. And I believe you also put some sort of creation yes. rules and modification yes. rules yes. in this template. So there's a bit of automation already there based on just the first name, last name, and the office or a department he belongs to. We can set the attributes based on the template. So there's already a template selected and updated yeah, the maybe. first name, last name. Perfect. So the user is getting created. It shouldn't take longer. You can see it uh, should, be in a, should be done in a minute. Yep. There we go, successfully created the user. How to validate the user is created? So we can validate that in a Service Desk Plus as well. So we can do, uh, let's say for example, reset password. Perfect. So, yep, a user got created and we wanted to make sure the password has reset it. Probably, you know, there's a request comes in here, not able to log in, how to reset a password. So so sweet. Oh, sweet. So it's displaying the SAM account number, logger name, and other details. Yes. yes. Perfect. So now Joe is updating the new password and change password for the next logon so that we'll make sure that the user also has the accountability. Perfect. 
as you guys can see, it's successfully modifying. Yes, yes. How about this user identity gets compromised and there is a security uh, breach request or some sort of security alert comes in. Yes. If uh, that's Vincent the case. identity is, yep, it's that's compromised. So, uh, if that's the case, then we can use the disable uh, user mm -hmm. uh, feature. Yep. So, I just search for the user. Uh, you got to hit enter so that it'll get displayed, I guess. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, so it's getting displayed with a display name, Sam. So we validate the right identity that is getting disabled. And here we go, the successfully the user has been disabled as well. Now, so this is wonderful. So going to reduce a lot of time and efforts for our engineers when such request comes in in terms of a user onboarding or an automation or an offboarding journey in an organization. Now, uh, Joe, it's a good idea to uh, give a quick insight about our automation policies that's available from the two. We got AD Manager uh, solution and as you guys can see from Joe's screen right now, uh, we can see what sort of capabilities the tool has, right? So uh, the whole process of not just user identity, it can be a computer identity or it can be a group identity or a contact identity. So all, not just the computers, users, computers, contact groups, all those can be automated with our set tasks or a group of tasks and the policy. So as you can see, a user can be created uh, based on an integrated approach. So if you have an HRM solution, a custom HRM solution, or Zoho people, or a Workday, or uh, you know, if your uh, tool can capture the user attributes based on first name, last name, and other basic AD attributes, then we can also pull the details from your uh, CSV in a network share, or from your Oracle database, or from your SQL database. So once the detail is captured, and, the user creation module will take care of that based on the template and the user attributes can be synced directly to Office 365, exchange servers for your mails and stuff, Teams and uh, any other M365 task, also your Google Workspace activity. So, you, uh, so we don't have to duplicate the efforts in multiple uh, directory services, yes, yes. right Joe? And uh, we also have group membership management, very tedious for any administrators, right? So how many groups we have, so we need to make sure people are there in the right group. So that was there as well, and also any sort of AD cleanup activities. Now, what we are going to talk about is a quick insight on orchestration. That's a new feature that's available as part of our uh, Active Directory solution, so AD management solution. Uh, what we can do with orchestration is put some criteria and conditions and based on that the journey can take place whether the user onboarding journey or an offboarding or a modification journey the user life cycle in an organization from identity access and governance perspective can be handled by this orchestration profile and the templates that we're going to use it within so as you can see onboarding based on a location criteria we can do XYZ tasks Based on the other location, we can do XYZ task. Likewise, offboarding, similar activities. There can be a bit of time gap so that we'll wait for X amount of days and then move the employee from exit and employee to a completely, uh, you know, uh, different OU as such, just for our records purposes. So that's it from us this week. And uh, team, if you guys want to know how we can help, what are uh, solutions and how we can make your identity access journey in your organization. We are always here to help. Thank you very much, team. Thanks from Chris. Thanks, guys. Joe. Thank you, guys. Andre. Looking forward See to you guys. Again.